Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Digital Experience. This is our iteration retro. Uh, today is Thursday, June 15th. Uh, we'll go over some of the things uh, that went well this week and some things to improve on. Uh, first up for things that went well is Justin. He's async, so I'll read for him. Um, Forrester and Gardner releases were hectic and took coordination from multiple teams to get everything out the door. Thank you, Mateo, Trevor, Javi, Nathan, uh, Tina, Lauren. Yeah, I think I got everyone there. <laughs> um, and Lauren plus one on that as well. I don't know if you want to vocalize. Yeah, just really great job team. That that came in on Thursday and we had to ship it at a specific time. Um, and we did it, we got it out the doors. It, it was great and it's a big deal. We created a new category in Gartner and now we lead it and we, um, we get to feature it on our site. So it's huge. Um, GitLab's been working for that for 10 years. So it's a big, big deal. Uh, pass it back to you, Laura. For yeah, also for Justin, um, dedicated page updates, another tight turnaround, launch was moved up a week, we still delivered on time. Uh, thank you, Jess, Tina, me, and Mark. Um, yeah, I think that's it for Justin. Uh, next is Nathan. Thanks, sorry, there's, there's so many tag names in there, I'm getting lost. Um, yeah, point three, the SRA team. Uh, I don't know if you noticed in the digital experience team, Slack, um, Gonzola and their team has been uh, pretty much migrating us from Fastly to Cloudflare. And it's been going extremely fast and knock on wood super well. So a huge thank you. Um, actually, right now, all of our review apps are going through Cloudflare. So uh, just some positives that we're going to get out of this is like no more limit. We're going to have unlimited redirects. So we're not going to have to do that like every two months, <laughs> go in and have to delete some old redirects. Um, and then it's going to be the same redirects file in review apps and prod. So there's going to be no discrepancy now between the two of them. So we're going to get a lot of good stuff out of this. Unfortunately, some of us are losing our admin access to Fastly. So it's probably a good thing, which means we don't have the keys anymore. Um, Lauren, I think you're muted. I heard you, uh, or saw you melt. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally okay with not yeah. having <laughs> admin access. Like I log into Fastly and I'm like, oh, sweet. Miss of a <laughs> click and I could take down the whole site. Like, <laughs> Nah, I don't want that. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's going extremely well. Um, just for some transparency, I think they're going to leave it for two, three weeks just to make sure everything's good. Uh, and then they're going to fl flip the switch to prod. Um, super exciting. That also means all that redirects code, that Ruby scripts and dub 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 are going to get deleted. Uh, but yeah, lots of exciting news. That's probably why I'm green this week. <laughs> uh, Lauren, I think you got the next one. Yeah. Uh, really just great, great job. Congrats, John, for sticking with the release of the language selector. Um, we released it and then we had to roll it back and then you stuck with it and we released it again yesterday. Um, and you stayed positive and persevered through all of it. So, um, congrats and great job. Uh, and then uh, second call out for Javi, really good job managing the releases for the three dotto nav while we still worked on four. So for a minute we had, you know, two versions of the nav that we had to keep synced to make sure everything was working. And you really handled that well. And we did a ton of nav releases. So you're a pro now, which is cool. <laughs> Um, and then uh, third, uh, great job, TMA. You just slayed through all of those um, human con content translations that we got. And we, we got all of that content onto production before we released our language selector yesterday. So that's great. Instead of people looking at machine translation, which is good, but not perfect sometimes, we now have content that's actually been translated by people. So just really awesome job team. Uh, Jess. I just want to shout out Miguel for his awesome work on the code suggestions animation, really bringing it to life. We don't get to do a ton of animation work. So um, it was just cool to see it kind of go from something in my mind to Miguel actually like implementing it and making it real. So great job. Um, I don't know if Tina or Javi want to add on or else it's back to Barker. Yeah, I was just um, saying great job to you too, Jess. Looks great.
All right, back to me. Um, I just want to give props to Megan. You've really, you really dug into Marketo and their email templating system and um, delivered the Marketo intelligent nurture email template. And um, funny enough, I've actually been getting some GitLab sales emails now, like the, the nurture emails on my personal account. And I am so excited to see this new template get implemented going to be a huge improvement. Uh, I'll pass it over to Laura. Uh, yeah, uh, for things to improve on, uh, Justin has the first point here uh, as well. Um, so he says, uh, events pages seem to still cause stress and take up a lot of context switching uh, by constantly updating copy times, headshots, etc. Uh, we need to make sure we communicate often and early about what we're missing. Um, Javi, do you want to have your sub point today? Oh yeah, just like the extra work, uh, not just like that team, just like in general, like of supporting teams after issues are closed is hard. Uh, we talked a little bit before recording about suggestions, and I think Tina has a great one right here. Oh yeah, sure. Um, well, listening to all of the pain points and friction points, I was thinking maybe we can just create an issue template specifically for events that kind of outlines must haves, um, one of which is being a single source of truth document, because I've been hearing that um, engineers and designers have had to reference several documents to figure out and MRs and issues and to figure out copy. Um, also a point, maybe um, a single DRI um, from their team, just to make sure um, there aren't too too much there isn't too much noise for our team and too many cooks in the kitchen um and you know other things that Alvi's brought up as well and Alvi's plus one that and maybe we'll move on to Barker if there isn't anything else yeah I have the next one this one caused me a lot of stress this iteration I have a few more gray hairs um, things kept happening that broke our site that we did not know about um, because of changes in the www repository, such as the homepage going down, um, and then also our blog page, blog home was broken. Um, and so I just like to mitigate that stuff from happening. I don't know if the anyone has uh, things to add there. If not, it's okay. I think I'll just say it, I'll say it again out loud. I think we talked about it every retro recently, but I think hopefully implementing a staging um, site that's a perfect, you know, carbon copy of prod uh, is going to help maybe catch some of these issues. Because right now I have trouble trusting our review apps um, and they're being hosted by a completely different service now. So like, you know, we might even see more discrepancies. Um, oh, yeah. Just again, I don't know that like we've had a lot of fires this week or this sprint, and I don't know that that would have caught all of them, um, but it may have helped us catch some of them because we did see strange behavior between staging and prod, at least when I was working on the blog site, um, I saw that. Yeah, great call out, Laura. Any last thoughts? Do we want to talk about Justin? He's not on the call. He never misses these calls. Is he baking a cake? Is it going to be three <laughs> layers instead of two? <laughs> Let's see him get ChatGPT to bake his cake. You know, it's apparently writes his birthday card. <laughs> you think he makes his own birthday cake? Ooh. We'll have to see. All right, we'll get some bets going and uh, maybe he'll watch this. Maybe he won't. We don't know. All right, everyone, I'll stop the recording there. Thank you so much. And we will see you next time.